안녕합니다. 한국에 오신 거 자기 소개 부탁드립니다. Okay, I am Dr. Siti Aisha. Uh, I'm a lecturer from University of Putra, Malaysia. Uh, I'm a senior lecturer in mass communication, uh, broadcasting. Amiga okay. 된 계기가 있었나요? One of the reason uh, I get in touch with Ami, uh, get into BTS Army as a BTS Army is because of the message in their songs. Okay, uh, I have a lot of things happen in my life, so I think most of their songs are related with myself in my daily life. Mm -hmm. uh, so it is motivated and it gives me a positive message and it helps me to continue my life, what no matter what happened. Hot shot debut day. 본인의 느낌은 어땠어요? And I think it's very wonderful to know when uh, one of the uh, when BTS like representative as Asian to you know being the top in the most of the top uh, Billboard Awards. So in the number one for the consecutive like eleven or ten weeks. Uh, so it's I'm very proud about it. 평론가가 보는 당탄의 사회 예술 가치는 뭐라고 생각하십니까? For me, as a, you know, my expertise in the broadcasting field, I feel like most of their content are really are representative of the Asian elements. Okay, even though not in the music elements, the music video, uh, non-video related, non-music related also helps to uh, expose the cultural element, especially the Korean elements. You know, as a broadcasting person, you know, I teach uh, media content, mass communication. Most of their video music, you know, non-musical program like Run BTS, Bon Voyage, uh, I mean, uh, another one is uh, In The Soup. It portrays the element of Korean culture. It helps me to identify and to help the Malaysian, you know, uh, the media creator to put, you know, to put the elements of Malaysian culture in the, uh, our video content also, our programs. So it doesn't mean that you have to uh, attend historical or cultural class study, but you also can learn about culture in video music or entertainment program. So it really helpful for me to look in another perspective, how we can teach cultural elements in entertainment program. Mm. So BTS helped me to you know, give the what kind of method that can we use to teach yeah, people out there, the audience, uh, 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 about cultural elements. Army, have you got to learn keywords? Family, trust, boundaries, and happy. 한국에는 자본가 자본가 규모가 큰 회사라야지만이 이제 팬덤을 좀 만들 수 있다고 이렇게 얘기를 합니다. 팬덤까지 가는 이제 성장을 만들 수 있다고 하는데 사실 방탄소년단의 초기에는 소수로서 굉장히 억압을 많이 받았잖아요. 근데 그런 부분에 대해서 아미가 어 그거를 이제 동조하고 성장시키고 때로는 집요한 실천을 통해서 지금의 방탄을 만들었다고 생각합니다. 말레이시아인으로서 느끼는 억압이나 편견이 있나요? Okay, for me, uh, I'm just looking, give me my perspective, okay, my own perspective in a general view. Okay, in Malaysia, we, uh, as you know, Malaysia live with a different kind of culture. We have Malaysian, we have uh, Chinese, we have Hindu, mm. so, and we have uh, expertise who come there and mm. work together. So, in the, uh, in the perspective of acceptance, uh, there's uh, not 
that kind of prejudice. Mm. They are, but not that major. So actually, we live in a happy environment where we uh, understand mm. and we respect each other. Mm. Okay, when we comes to uh, broadcasting or in music society, okay, as a listener or as a fans of uh, artists, I believe that. Malaysian uh, mainstream and in the independent industry are uh, a little bit balanced. Mm. You know, when artists from independence mm. area are uh, being accepted by the general, by the society, mm. they listen to the Indies, uh, Indie music, they listen to the mainstream music. Even in our country, in Malaysia, we have a station, radio station that play independence uh, uh, songs made by Malaysian artists, mm. Malaysian independent artists. So the listener get a general view, can listen to any kind of music that they want to listen to. So that's in terms of prejudice of a different culture, of different races, mm. it's not that big because uh, we accept each other, we respect each other and we try to understand each other. Uh, even when it comes to festivals, mm. there are major festival you know, about uh, Muslim, Hindu and Buddha but we still respect each other so I think that's not that uh, big issue in Malaysia mm. it's just maybe in media it portrays uh, the negative side but in real mm. it's not that big 그렇다면 그런 걸 경험했을 때 자신만의 극복을 하는 방법이 있는, 있는지 또는 BTS의 노래 중에서 나의 그런 상황을 극복하게 해준 가사 말이 있다면 소개를 좀 해주세요. One of the message that I really like about BTS in their songs and any content or visual non-musical content is about the positiveness and the openness about their feelings and their stories. Mm. They share most of the uh, their feelings to the fans, okay, to the audience, so that when they share that feelings, the emotions to the people out there. It some kinds of related with us as a fans, as of audience. So it helped us uh, to be open, you know, and share our feelings to people around us. Maybe it's not that much, but uh, in this, you know, with the media industry, with most of people now being become a content media content creator, so everyone has the ability and accessibility to create a content to share their feelings, their message to people out there. Mm. So, uh, for me, uh, in some point of view, BTS helps people to be more open about their feelings. Mm. 2022년 BTS 국제 학술 대회의 주제가 New Humanity인데 어, 말레이시아인에게 있어서 New Humanity란 무엇일까요? New Humanity in Malaysia. Okay, this is a very interesting question. Okay, <웃음> for as we know, like we live in the pandemic for over two years. Yeah? Everything has changed. Uh, stop us from doing our you know, uh, daily life activities that we like. So after now, Malaysia is in the process of the stage of endemic, which is we live in the stage where people doing their daily life, uh, continue their daily life, daily activity uh, after the pandemic happened. So the new humanity for us right now is we try to adapt uh, any kind of situation policies that made by the government uh, in to you know to continue our daily life even for the you know the school uh, the economy uh, run as usual but in a you know not like a previous uh, situation before the pandemic so the new humanity i think we try to more acceptance with each other uh, understand each other you know sometimes we think that or oh, this uh, you know the youngster or the kids are not active enough uh, right now we have to understand that before this and two years they are not exposed with the outside world you know they cannot do uh, daily activities outside. so after this endemic in this endemic pace they try to you know slowly adapt the environment the, outside activity, outdoor activity. So, B 
people, the family, friends, uh, help you know, people, each other, help each other to continue our life. 지속 가능해지기 위한 아미의 방향과 철학을 자신이 하는 일과 어떤 걸 같이 만들어 갈수 있는지에 대해서 소개를 좀 부탁드립니다. By attending this conference actually it give me a very wide perspective on how we can look or connect each other field expertise. So like just before I attend about um, how BTS songs can uh, help in building uh, trust in family, you know, how BTS music, the visual, you know, visual content, uh, give a message to people out there, content a message to people out there. So I believe that by like gathering like this uh, with army around the world, sharing their point of view, sharing their expertise, it helps uh, for me to see a more bright future for the army because we can relate uh, relate and connect each other in very much uh, aspect so if you need about politics politic point of view you can go find uh, army that expert in politics economy you can go find army in politics so i believe this thing will continue like uh, so much more you know in the for long 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 time so i believe uh, Army and BTS will continue to support each other, uh, meet each other for for the long time. Uh. 한국인에게 하시고 싶은 메시지가 있으면 부탁드립니다. <laughs> for the Korean people, thank you for like <laughs> allow us to love and to share our passion with BTS. I think this is uh, one way how people around the world can connect each other by sharing their message and feelings. So I hope uh, this positivity, this connection can uh, know, grow bigger for a long time so that uh, people around the world, and, uh, we can uh, create this positive uh, positivity environment you know, for a long time for, for the great sustainability uh, in the world. Okay. So, uh, thank you for BTS member. Uh, please continue whatever that you love. Uh, by doing that, I believe you can find yourself. And by finding yourself, you will be creating a more a lots of more positive message to the, your army, your fans. So, don't stop. Just do whatever that you love because army will always support you. Okay, no matter what happens. Fighting! Fighting! <laughs> Interview BYSQ Global에 함께 해주셔서 너무 감사드리고요. 어, 한국에 머무시는 동안 즐거운 기억 많이 담아서 가시고 또 뵙기를 기대하겠습니다. Okay, thank you. Thank you. 감사합니다. 감사합니다. <laughs>